Hey everybody, it's Michael from Aerial Influence. Today we're actually looking at the uh, Mavic Enterprise line. Um, right now we've got the uh, M3T, so the thermal version and the multi-spectral, but also there's you know the, the regular Enterprise version. But what we're gonna be going over today is the point of interest function. And this is gonna be across the board on the Enterprise Mavics. Um, and we're gonna kind of show you how to do that quickly and easily. So the point of interest function is gonna be seen not only on the Mavics, but it's also gonna be on the Matrice uh, 30 and also the Matrice 350. Right now we're using the Mavic 3 multispectral and we've actually got it hooked up to RTK. It's pretty windy out right now. We'll get it up in the air. All right, so we're up in the air right now and we've got a truck out in the yard and we're gonna use the truck as the point of interest. So what I'm doing is I'm actually taking off, flying over to the truck, and then I'm gonna set a pinpoint basically right over the truck. And so what that does is it basically um, <clears throat> takes the GPS coordinates exactly where we are and it makes that a pinpoint. And then from there, it opens up the functionality for using the point of interest. So I would fly back away from that point of interest or the truck and then hit the point of interest uh, toggle. And essentially from there, you can then use <clears throat> the, uh, the, right, the right one and go left and right and basically go along you know, the diameter of your point of interest. And we'll obviously uh, show you how that works. All right, so right now we're gonna hit the pinpoint because we're directly over our point of interest. And that basically sets a pin for where the aircraft location is. All right, so I'm going to kind of go up and back. And then you can set your angle for the camera. All right, and I'm going to hit the point of interest function. And you can set other things. You can set the, you can, I can do a gimbal lock. So we can hit C2, lock the gimbal, C1 to lock the point of interest speed. So now I'm just moving the stick right, and it basically keeps a nice point of interest diameter shot. I just turned it from visible light to multispectral. And we'll toggle back and forth here between the camera and the map. And you can kind of see how it's spinning around there. So right now we're just, we're doing video, but you know, you could obviously put it on photos. You could have it uh, collect photos at, at uh, you know, different intervals. If you're doing a 3D map, you could, you could do a, maybe like a low point of interest shot, then you could go a little bit higher and do, you know, a medium and then go even higher. And then that way you've got basically kind of a multi-stage uh, pictures going up the tower or, you know, what, whatever your point of interest is. So this is the easy way to do point of interest. Just fly over your subject, hit a pinpoint, fly back, um, and then basically tap the other icon for point of interest and then that will pull you into there into that functionality and then you can go left and right with the right stick and uh, you know change some other parameters but uh, yeah that's it